welcome students so in this video i will be solving sample problem on resultant of forces as you can see this is the diagram of the problem and the problem is a telephone cable is clamped at a so here at a a telephone cable is clamped to the pole ab okay knowing that the tension in the right hand portion of the cable is t2 so in this cable t2 the tension is 1000 pound determined by geometry the required tension t1 so we have to find this tension in the left hand portion if the resultant r of the forces exerted by the cable at A is to be vertical. So the resultant force because of these tension forces on the pole should be vertical. And we have to find the corresponding magnitude of R. Okay. So let us solve this problem. So first we draw T1, so this is the T1 and this angle is 15 degree, okay <coughs> and R is given vertical so we can draw R here. and uh, then because all these forces are in equilibrium so we can draw t2 here okay and this is the t1 so this is the closed triangle now we need to find out the angle so this angle should be 75 degree and uh, <clears throat> this angle is given as uh, 25 so by the help of this we, we can find the angles so this angle becomes 40 degree okay and suppose this angle is alpha then this alpha plus 40 and plus 75 should be 180 degree right then you can find alpha as 180 minus 115 so alpha will be <coughs> Here we have 5, then 7 minus 1 is 6, 65 degrees. So this angle is alpha is equals to 65 degrees. Now we can use the sine law to calculate the unknown forces. So T1 upon sine of 65 degree should be equals to T2 upon sine of 75 degree okay so from this you can calculate T1 which will be equals to T2 and the sine of 65 divided by sine of 75 and this t2 is equals to 1000 pound okay <clears throat> similarly we can write for r so r up on divided by uh, sine of 40 
will be equals to T1 upon sine of 65 or you can take T2 also so this will be equals to R T1 sine of 40 degree divided by sine of 65 degree so when we solve we need to put the values and then you can find the solution so the solution is comes out to be t1 should be 938 pound 938 um, and this R comes out to be 665. Um, so you can verify this by putting in the values. So this is how we can solve the problems related to resultant of forces. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.